Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Trinidad and Tobago, home to some of the greatest and some of the spiciest hot chili peppers on earth, including the Trinidad scorpion, which is, I'm surrounded. I'm in a sea of Trinidad scorpion peppers right now. But anyway, today is gonna be a food tour all about peppas. We're gonna visit a peppa farm. We are gonna see them on the bushes. We're gonna go to a hot peppa where they're making some of the peppa sauce, which is incredible. That is a lot of scorpions. And then we're gonna eat some meals that are gonna be infused with Trinidad scorpions. Oh, that'll clear you out. <laughs> and I'm gonna share all the food with you and all the spice all coming up right now in this video. It almost feels like I have a hole in my tongue. First thing we're doing today is we're at the, the Peppa farm. We're gonna see some of the seedlings and the nursery of how they grow the scorpion, Trinidad scorpion peppers. Some of the spiciest peppers on earth. So this is peppa seeds actually. Oh, One seed at a time. That's incredible. Yeah. Sowing the seeds. That's how we do it. Wow, that's on another so level. Okay. Moruga red. It is a hot pepper. It That's a pepper. very hot pepper too, right? The morugas. So we have moruga okay. red, moruga yellow, and scorpion. Wow. Wow. This the hot pepper farm. Oh yeah. This is this such a, an amazing process. Yes. One seed at a time. Yes. Yeah, it's so cool. Into the trays to nurse that first seedling. That sprout. That chili sprout. These like the... are ready to plant in the garden now. Okay. And this here is a smaller set. Okay. So they still need a couple of weeks until they reach to this stage. They probably need about four weeks again until they reach to this stage. And then we take them and plant them in the garden. Okay. So all of these are peppers. These are scorpion peppers. These seedlings. are scorpion pepper seedlings. Okay. So scorpion pepper. You take one out. Plant that yeah. into the, the real soil. Plant them into the real soil. This is just a sea of scorpion pepper seedlings. Trinidad scorpions. And now we're gonna go to the garden, to the actual soil where these are the process where they replant them and then grow them and uh, so the fruits can blossom. Whoa. So these are pimento peppers, which are probably one of the most commonly used in Trinidadian cooking because they're amazingly flavorful and fruity, but they're not spicy. Almost like a bell pepper, but just with so much more flavor. And these are beautiful. Pimentos are a huge part of Trinidadian food. Let's pick some of these to go for the day. Oh man. Oh, look at this one. This one is so, look at that tone. It's like a rainbow. It's like a snow cone chili. Red to orange to green to orange to yellow, back to green again. All right, get some of the red ones, get some of the green ones so we can taste all the different colors. Green and yellow ones. Okay, I think that's really good. Oh, so what are these? Maruga red. These are maruga reds. They're quite crinkly and waxy. Beautiful. <laughs> and do you try to harvest them when they're really red or when they're different colors? It depends. Yeah, different yeah, colors. Yeah, red, ready? Marugas. Oh, wonderful. Some of them are huge, huh? Are they similar to scotch bonnets? Scotch yeah, bonnets. Similar, yeah. Similar, similar to yeah, scotch bonnets, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, now the scorpions? These are all scorpions? Oh, yeah. All scorpions. You, all see, you scorpions. see the little scorpion tail? That's uh, how they yes, get Yes, that's how you know it's a scorpion. Yeah. We have the legendary Trinidad scorpion peppers, some of the hottest peppers in the world. And these are just beautiful. It's called a scorpion because of that, that tip, scorpion tail. Looks just like it's gonna mm. bite you. <laughs> yeah, they just, just the way they look, they look gnarly and dangerous and like, Looks like they, they will hurt. Oh, again, I think it's 1.2 to 1.5 Scoville, million Scoville. Um, insanely spicy. You don't want to get one of these mixed up for a pimento. No, we have pimento separate. <laughs> yes. And so scorpions in Trinidad, would they typically be used for chili sauce, pepper sauce? Mostly, okay. pepper sauce. Yeah. Okay, rather you, than cooking? You, you can, not really. Uh, you, you don't really cook, cook with um, scorpion because it makes your food extremely spicy. Extremely Sometimes spicy. you can't even eat it because it's so hot. 
you can take a little piece just on top of your food try eating it with that but not cook thank you very much no problem. oh that's a, the greatest chili pepper gift ever Yay. <laughs> thank you thank you so much that was a very fruitful trip to the chili pepper farm from here we're going to a place called birdies which is one of the brands that makes some of the best hot pepper sauce from right here scorpions are gonna go i mean she supplies birdies for the pepper sauce and we're gonna see that making the making of it next what we're gonna see now is scorpion pepper sauce all right right scorpion pepper sauce you all would know well hopefully know used yes. to be the hottest pepper in the world i think this guy has had the, the hottest pepper <laughs> but we were used to be the hottest and I think we're, I think we're still up there. We're gonna take that pepper and we're gonna turn it into pepper sauce. Nice. That's what we do. Okay. Let's go. Watch out. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Welcome to Birdies. Wow, that's a lot of scorpions. Oh, that is a lot of scorpions. And those came straight from the farm that we saw this morning, actually. What you saw she this said, morning, yep. we got these yesterday evening. Oh, so man. So we had this in a cold room, and then we bring them across in the morning to go through the process. If you touch these with your bare hands, and then, you know, wipe your eyes or something, yeah. you're going to have a bad day. Yeah, you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> all fresh, all fresh peppers. These peppers were literally picked yesterday and delivered here. What we're going to do now, we're going to go through a thorough washing process. Okay. So the peppers are washed and then they're weighed up, and then we grind them down. Oh, wow. It's all scorpion peppers. It's a bathtub of scorpion peppers. Okay. Well, we got a thorough wash. Three of the main fresh ingredients that go into the pepper sauce are the, the chilies themselves, shadow benny, culantro, and garlic. Always fresh, always fresh ingredients. All the ingredients go into the grinders and that's just gonna blend and grind into a perfect puree of the pepper sauce. You can already start to feel the fumes in your, in your nose. A fresh sauce or a fermented sauce? Is it fermented? Fresh. It's fresh. Not it's not fermented. fermented. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. So that's just reduced into a puree of scorpion peppers. Dangerous puree. This pepper puree will be then pumped into the, the barrels very carefully. Oh, yeah. A little splashage. Is it a vinegar based? Yes. So it's hot. Yep. It's a little bit acidic, but mostly you get in that pepper flavor coming through. Cool. That yeah. was incredible. The key is the fresh. That was fantastic. We're here in the storage room now and gonna do some taste testing. The best part. How long has your family been making pepper sauce? My dad always made pepper sauce. Because in Trinidad, especially back in the day, you couldn't get a home style in the supermarket. Ah. So most Trinis would have something homemade or hopefully a friend gave them. My dad would give to friends and close okay. family. Okay. And then they did this little fundraiser and my mom was smart enough to put her name on the bottle and a little story. And people kind of started to call. Mm. Now granted, it took 10 more years until we got into the supermarkets. So it's a family recipe, your mom's recipe. Bertie was my dad. Bertie and and, and this is, family and run we, still. We, we stick with it. The ingredients are even fresher. It's mm. even more organized, but That's it important. is the same, yeah. same, same fresh. I mean, you saw the stuff. It's, it's, it's fresh is the name of the game. And, Let's and, do, and, and we we're gonna pour. work our way up from mild. Okay, so this is just the pimento. This is just, thank you. Tell me, like, more generous on that. Yeah, I think, I think we can. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good? Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Vinegary and acidic. Get that flavor, the fruitiness of the, the pimento comes out so nicely. Moving down the line with the slight. I'll go cheese. Mmm. Oh, you're getting spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of spice. Again, so fragrant. Okay, original. Right. Original. Oh, yeah. That's such a good, like, well-rounder. All-purpose 
pepper sauce. You could put it on anything and make your food better. We have worked our way up to the one, the scorpion. It's better than that one, that's one. It is a pepper that demands respect. Oh, yes. All right guys, cheers. Scorpion pepper sauce. Mm. Oh. oh, the flavor is so good. You get more of those, those fumes. I can feel it starting. As I said, it's a slow burn. It's oh, it starts, like, off, starts off slow. It starts, off slow. It starts to build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can feel that. The fruitiness of it is just incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Zach's starting yeah. to sweat. The sweat has started to come down there. Okay, I'm going for one more cracker for the road. The scorpion is so incredibly good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna burn. Mm. The flavor profile is just extraordinary. It starts off fruity and then it just builds in intensity. So we are in Cuba, this is in central Trinidad, and one of the main destinations for today is Quan Kep's pork shed. So I'm second generation Trinidadian, and he taught my dad how to do crispy skin pork, and my dad taught me. <laughs> kind of Chinese, but then kind of Trinidadian, kind of Trinidadian with Trinidadian. that Caribbean flavor at yeah, the same time. Yeah, exactly. So we do crispy skin pork, we do jira pork, we do pepper pork, we do black pudding, we do wontons. What is this the main, was main Chinese, it's, it's Chinese roast pork, so five okay. spice. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then, yeah, so five spice. Does it so have that Caribbean spice. touch, like yes, shadow belly? Yes, it has. No, it has no, no shadow okay. belly so it's more of a Chinese It's more of a Chinese, of a yes, exactly. Okay. Um, I can't let out everything that's yeah, in there, yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, mainly more of a Chinese flavor. Yes, okay. absolutely. And then we just hook. And what kind of, what cut of the pork are we using so here? So this one is a pork leg. This one is a back leg oh, of the pork. Oh, that's a whole, like, slice steak of a leg. Yeah, and then you hang them like this. <laughs> and in it goes. Well. Legs and bellies. And that's gonna roast for how long? Three hours. All right. Three, three and a half hours, depending on the wind. Okay. Yeah, but at a minimum, three hours. Very nice to meet you. Hey, good to meet you too. Yes. Good to meet you too. Cool to hang out today. And yeah. yeah, sure, a little bit of background about the Chinese community in Trinidad. Yeah, well, you know, Trinidad is a diverse place, you know, in our history. Of course, we started the first peoples, the Amerindians then the African influence, the Indian influence. That's what kind of special Lebanese influence. Oh, yeah. So you find, and then the Chinese also came here. So you find even when the Chinese do what they know, the traditional thing, it always evolves to that kind of special Trinidad kind of influence. Mm -hmm. And this is what really makes Trinidad special in my mind. Yes, Yeah, because sure. we see it in the food, we see it in the music, the arts, the cultures. Trinidad. Yes. And welcome. So this is what it would look like when it comes out of the rooster. Oh, so this is three or four hours later. This is three or four, four hours later, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when we fry them up, it doesn't have to stay very long in the oil because it will reach the internal temperature for it to be cooked in 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. But you see the magic when it hits the oil. Oh yeah. She's going the extra mile, not just roasted, but fried. Well, as that fries, in the meantime, we're gonna be making some black pudding. So this is our blood sausage, or we say in Trinidad, black pudding. The Trinidad history of black pudding originated in England. So obviously we were a colony of Great Britain, and this was one of the things that came down. And we're gonna fry it up. A little bit of oil, I'm gonna go in. Some onions, some pimentos. Some hot pepper, and this is where the shadow benny comes in. And some shadow benny, yes. Gotta have the shadow benny. Taste it, 
And add some pepper. I'm going to put some for you. The shadow benny and a little bit of that pepper sauce. Pepper sauce, Oh, yeah. that gives it the Caribbean Trinidadian touch. I want to get a, a lot of those onions as well. Pepper. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's a yes? Oh, yes. Very yes. <laughs> Very yes. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. The black pudding is amazing, actually. It's like, you don't even really realize that it's blood. Mm. It's not irony at all no. or like organy at all. Mm -mm. It's more, more just like a, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a like lot of human. garlic in there. Human and garlic, cumin, yeah, is what you taste, garlic, yeah. Mmm. No, I'm likely. The finished product right there? Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bubbly skin. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the landlord here, he's actually a gardener. So this is a seven pod crossed with a scorpion pepper. Oh, <laughs> Not that God. I want to touch it, but you see the little tail? Yes. And now they're crinkly. Well, yes. So next up for that crispy pork, and it's gonna be fried up with the scorpion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, we got it here. Oh, there's the scorpion. <laughs> Not the whole thing, right? Yeah. No. But the we can do the whole thing. thing. Okay, sure. With the seeds. Do it. Let's do it. So this is our seasonings with the seven pod crossed with scorpion pepper in here and our usual onions and stuff. So I'm gonna cut some of the pork. Oh, oh look at that crunch. That skin. Coughing. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. All oh, the scorpion chili up the nose. Oh, that'll clear you out. <laughs> Everybody left. <laughs> so, this is your very spicy oh, pepper pork. Scorpion, pepper, roast pork, fried. It's so aromatic. I love how she tosses it up with the onions, with the shadow benny and peppers, and the scorpion pepper in this case. We'll ease our way in. I think we'll first just try the piece of the pork, even though for sure it's been like infused with that oil from the pepper already. Yes, Tony. One, two, two three. three. Mm. <laughs> hmm, make it, makes you want to sing. Some soca, oh, yeah. some calypso. Mm. Actually, if you just eat the pork without the piece of the pepper, it's not that spicy, right? What? <laughs> it's, it's good, it's good. It's good, it's good. Oh. Zach, you yes, Tony. Oh. That would be dangerous to take that whole bite though, <laughs> with all the seeds in there. That's a lot of pepper. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's gonna make you sweat. <laughs> what a pepper. <laughs> so oh yeah. Like Zach, that that sweat. It's it's, <laughs> it's just not supping. And then I think we've got the final bite of the pepper here. Oh. Just it like fills your mouth with this peppa fumes that just kind of explode into your nostrils. Wow, that was so flavorful. The pork itself, the stir fry mixture, the entire method, and that scorpion. Oh, thank you. Oh, absolutely. This was incredible. Yeah, absolutely, I'm glad you like it. It's so tasty. That's too much pepper for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sweating. Tears of happiness.
Wow. <laughs> oh, you mm. can hear the crunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. nice. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, so that completes our time at Quan Kep's. The roast crispy pork is out of control. If you love pork, it's somewhere you have to go. Huge thank you to Ben Kwan and Karim for hosting us. They're doing an amazing job. And that scorpion, oh man, I can still feel my lips burning a little bit. That was so good. Pork was excellent, but now we're having a bigger meal. Sylvie's Roti Shop, they have roti. They also have rice and dal, which is probably what I'm gonna, I'm gonna try today since I've been having a lot of roti. But you step inside of here, the aroma of the spices, the dal, the chana, the, the alu. Oh man, I can't wait to, they're gonna dish it up. Man, Sylvie's Roti Shop, it's so packed, so locally popular, and what a spot. The food just looks absolutely incredible. I got a huge mixed plate. That's a, a lunch of champions. Oh man, and I'm already feeling the chili, but it's time to, to try some more inside of this beautiful box. Oh, wow. That's just Trinidad in a single box. And we've got the all those bags of fresh peppers that we picked ourselves, including an entire bag of scorpions. Oh man, dangerous scorpions. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the food first before moving into hotter things. Gone a little crazy here with the toppings because there is there is actually rice and dal underneath the pile of dashin bhaji and, and long beans and mango pickle and there's shrimp in here. There's uh, curry goat. I just couldn't resist all of it. Oh man, I'm gonna scoop on with some of this curry goat with some of the shrimp in with some of the, the dashing. Mmm. Oh, the dashing bhaji. The taro leaves. So good. So creamy. I love the rice. You can uh, taste the creaminess of the dal, the starchiness of the dal as well. I'm gonna try that curry goat. One of the greatest dishes of Trinidad and Tobago, the curry goat. Oh, oh wow. That curry goat is so tender. Mmm. Just like complete effortless chewing. You taste all the curry powder in there. That seasoning with the onions and the garlic. Wow, this is good food. I think I'm ready to, to light things on fire. I'm liking this this one right here because it has a real tip on tip to it i love those colors and the color is beautiful orange first bite of the the pure scorpion i'm gonna stick this in my mouth something i just have to do bite the tip of the scorpion you do have to be very careful it commands respect Oh, the fruitiness of it. It's citrusy. So far the heat hasn't really kicked in yet, but just the flavor. But these are, don't let the scorpions fool you. I mean, it starts off slow and you think, oh, I'm good. Then a few minutes later, you're just like panting for air and gasping and just sweating. I'm gonna set this down in the center. Oh, what is it called? Um, it's called, uh, I don't use <laughs> this is a Trinidadian technique of, of marinating the pepper into your food yeah the aroma is oh absolutely insane that is like my eyes are watering okay start with that and then we'll keep on going actually just from that single bite of the tip i can feel my lips burning a little bit burning. yeah not my mouth but my lips because i think it touched my lips there oh wow and as i took that bite i could feel the fumes coming into my nose once you go scorpion, you just can't go back. Seeds. Getting to those seeds. We have to try the seeds. No, no. <sighs> mm. Okay. That was a big bite of scorpion. <laughs> <laughs>
Can you feel the like Ooh, the power like of it? <laughs> It'll like clean my out. Ears, my ears are just like. Mm hmm. Woo. That'll just like. It will blow steam <clears throat> through your ears oh. to your brain. Mm, makes you whistle. Mm hmm. You can need the airflow. Oh, here comes the sweat. Here comes the sweat. <laughs> Immediate sweat from eating pepper. Wow. Yeah, it builds. Like it starts off slow, just starts to starts to build. Wow, I can feel the the gases of the chili pepper coming Ooh. into my mouth now. I feel like a choo choo train. Woo! And the freshness of this too, straight off the bush. You do not want to touch this and then touch anything else. Okay. Scoop in with that that pepper. Oh man. And when you do like mix it with your food, it is manageable. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Sometimes you get one of those pepper bites and it just almost kind of takes your breath away a little bit. You have to gasp, yeah. That, that's <laughs> all the... my pepper bites. That's all yeah. my... <laughs> my mission is complete. Mission complete. Soon you're just like dripping, slightly delirious. Yeah. Oh, wow. And what a meal too. Okay. I'm losing, I'm starting to lose my taste buds. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> uh. mmm. I can't fully feel my cheeks right now. <laughs> Nuggets of scorpion. Mm. You get to that stage kind of where you're almost seeing things. Like dizzy, you're like. Yeah. It's like your head is just like spinning. Delirious a little bit. Yeah. Final bite of the scorpion at the very stem. And at this stage, my mouth, literally my entire face is on fire. Yeah, here we go. Trinidad scorpion, final bite. We did it. Oh, oh, okay. Chase that with some food. Wow, that is the real deal. It's like still Jack with the sweats, fully dripping down. <laughs> a waterfall. It's crazy. That was delicious. Thank you for the incredible lunch. Oh, that breeze feels amazing. Ready to get some <laughs> that was a, a memorable chili eating a Trinidad scorpion from the source in Trinidad and Tobago. And so that brings us to the end of this extra spicy food tour, focusing on the amazing hot peppers of Trinidad and Tobago. And one thing I will say is, okay, they are extremely hot. Um, and the flavor, the hotness, the heat is so much fun. The extreme Scoville level. But on top of the heat, it's about the flavor of these peppers that grow in Trinidad and Tobago that just have an abundance of flavor. That the sourness, the fruitiness, the, the flavor is insane. And that's truly um, like they truly have some of the greatest hot peppers that you'll have in your life. And so that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. And I wanna say a huge thank you to Visit Trinidad for arranging my entire trip here to Trinidad and Tobago and for sponsoring this trip for arranging, setting up all of the activities. Also, make sure you check out, we're traveling all the way around Trinidad and Tobago, learning about the culture, eating incredibly tasty, delicious food, f abundance of flavor. And so make sure you check out this entire series, all of the videos. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next video.